Hello friends, welcome back to the Tech Supper channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at a functionality of REST adapter which will be used to download a binary content from a FTP location. So in this video, we are going up, we are going to take an example of FTP, but you can take a, any type of application to fetch the document and download it as part of the REST adapter or REST API. So before I proceed, I will ask you to please subscribe my channel so that you can get notifications in your notification list as soon as I publish a new video. So in this video, we are going to cover a lab wherein I will create a REST API which will take the document name as a input parameter and then we will search that document from the FTP location and then send the document as part of the REST service response. So we are going to use our REST adapter and that REST adapter, in the REST adapter, we will configure the binary response. So let's see how we can achieve this in our Oracle integration. So I will switch over to the Oracle integration now. Okay, now I'm going to create a new integration with the help of app driven orchestration pattern. Click on a Slack. Now, on the open dialog, I will give an integration name. Let it be open. Okay, so here I'll say document download. I can say download document then integration. And then click on a create button. Once you click on a create button, you will be landed on an integration canvas page. Let it be there. Now just save your integration. As I mentioned, and I'm going to create a REST API. Hence, I have to select the REST adapter. On that open dialog, I will give a name of this endpoint. I can say download doc. And then next. On the next screen, I will give the Relative resource URI, I'll say download. And then I'm going to choose a verb as a get, and then I will add a review parameter and I will configure the response as well. Click on the next button. On the next screen, on the request parameters screen, I'm going to create a new parameter as a document name. I'll say document name and then data type will be a string and then click on the next button from the next screen i will configure the response here in this drop down you will notice there is a response type called binary so if you wanted to deal with the binary document as part of the response you have to select that binary format under that binary format you will notice there's a drop down will be visible over here which is called media type drop down under that drop down there are different different mime type like application octet stream application pdf application ms word application zip image jpg image png image tmp bmp image gif other media type if you choose other other media type you will be allowed to enter any other media type which are not listed on this particular drop down let it be open. It is taking little time. Here you see there's a uh, text box where you can enter any media type. Now I want to deal with the application slash PDF type. So hence I will select application PDF. If you wanted to deal with another type of document, you can select MS Word, JP, JPG accordingly. Now I wanted to deal with the PDF only. So I'll just select application PDF. Click next and then simply finish your wizard. Now, save your integration. As I mentioned that I'm going to use the FTP to search the, the document. So I will use that FTP adapter. And here I'm going to give the search file, search doc. And then next. Here I will choose read a file operation and then use binary option. So here I'll choose 
home slash opc slash in and i can give any file name for the time being it is and then i will map this parameter in the mapper next you can choose yes and then no yes if you wanted to have the structured content then you can use yes as you can use no i'm going to use no it is because my content my file is unstructured once you do this click on the next and on the further screen it will not ask anything finish your result save your integration again now here under that search box and under this mapper i will map the file name okay so the file name which the, down, the document name i can say that which will come from my uh, from the parameter list or the request uh, parameter so here i'll just expand this uh, file read request and then query parameter from the query parameter i will map this document to the file name and then validate your expression and then close your mapper now again go down and in the response mapper here you will notice whenever you select the binary document as part of the response in the rest adapter you will see there is a single response matter response uh, element will be there called stream reference now under this search document you have to map your file reference to stream reference file reference to stream reference validate it and then close this mapper that's it the final configuration is to enable the tracking parameter let me enable the tracking parameter click on the action menu and then tracking document name save your integration and then close you need to activate that integration activate your integration click on this switcher button then enable tracing and then include payload and then activate once integration will be activated you will see the end point just open this end point and i am going to use a firefox browser to test it directly now i will open the firefox so open the firefox and enter your endpoint under that document name i will put the pdf document name i will say i have a document called one dot pdf just enter once you will enter it will ask the username and the password of your oic i will say demo user and then i will enter the password now it will render the document with the name one dot pdf so let it be rendered okay here you see the pdf has been rendered on your browser you can download it as well let's try another document i have another document which is again a pdf document i'll say two dot pdf now here you see another pdf document will be rendered onto your browser and here you see the file name will be two dot pdf once you will download the yeah, document will be downloaded with the same name which is on your app let me download it is taking little time okay here you go you see the document has been rendered on your browser so guys that's all about this video that's how you can use binary um but you can you can download the binary document using that rest adapter guys i hope you like the video if you like the video please like comment and share and please subscribe my channel so that you can get notification in your notification list as soon as i subscribe or i publish a new video thank you for watching the video have a good day bye bye